place to be and you can get the very best uh, of betting tips uh, not forgetting watching us live uh, in the studios of sports radio double eight and nine uh, Brilla fm if you're ready i'm ready and together let's do this it's a wonderful midweek edition of football 360 degrees bravo romeo india lima alpha crowder on their feet b r i l a brila www.brila.net where everything sports meets <laughs> including your radio this is sports radio yeah 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 yeah, yeah. 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 Okay then. Home of the champions. The name of the game. The name of the game. The name of the game. All right, it's the name of the game. Yes, talking about football. Uh, and I say welcome. Yes, uh, they say East or West. Uh, home is the best. Uh, we start off from home uh, this morning. Uh, and it's all about new Sunshine Stars coach Duke Uri. Well, he has promised that the Akure Premier League club uh, will not be relegated come the end of the season. The former Oshu United coach uh, who replaced ex Eagles manager Austin Aguavo, who left after five matches in charge of the team, won his first Premier League game uh, with a struggling 1-0 defeat of Abia Warriors uh, last Sunday in Ijebode Sunshine. Uh, currently 17th on the log uh, with 34 points uh, from 27 matches. I tell you who he said uh, he will be uh, with the Ondo State Own Club uh, until the end uh, of the season. I tell you, pledging his allegiance uh, and not doing a Craig David right there. No, he will not walk away. But then, of course, the man says, uh, I will be with you. Come on, uh, come all uh, away from that one. Uh, let's still move on right here and tell you that one super good player could jolly well forget uh, about getting a call up uh, for the all important uh, Nigeria Cameroon Russia 2018 uh, World Cup qualifier next month I tell you his name uh, is definitely yes indeed uh, Daniel Akpiri South Africa based goalkeeper in the absence of injured first choice goalkeeper Kali Kemet was in post last month uh, when the Eagles fell 0 2 to South Africa in the Cameroon 2019 Afghan qualifier the raw had after the match failed to blame any of his players uh, for the defeat. Uh, although sources at the NFF uh, disclosed that Raw was not impressed uh, with the performance of the goalkeeper and as a result to drop him, uh, it was gathered also that even if he came and fails to bounce back, uh, Raw will fall back uh, on home base keepers to prosecute uh, the match uh, against Cameroon. Uh, oh my word, yes, you remember against South Africa. They beat us uh, not one but two goals to nothing and already a whole lot of people looking ahead uh, to the game against Cameroon. What will happen if the Super Eagles fail to defeat Cameroon on the month of August? That is the big question. Sports Radio, double in the nine. Brella for Rella, like the elders always say. There is no precaution in sending a rat on a mission to buy fish. Oh my word. Now we're still moving on. This time, let's go straight to Kenya, where the Kenyan Premier League governing body and council has reconstituted its disciplinary body in Independent Disciplinary and Complaints Committee talking about the IDCC and appointed a new six-member team led by lawyer Stephen Lugunya. The newly constructed and reconstituted body incorporates six male members and the league organizers are still in the process of identifying a female member of the committee whose mandate started on the 12th of last month. The six members of the committee include former Kenyan internationals, retired referees and high-profile lawyers uh, conversant uh, with the rules uh, of the game uh, called football. Yes, indeed, uh, we're still moving on on the show. Don't forget uh, www.thebrilla.net uh, That's the place to be right here on Football 360 Degrees. Bravo, Romeo, India, Lima, Alpha, Crowder on their feet, B-R-I-L-A, Brila, www.brila.net where everything sports meet <laughs> including your radio you ready One, two, three, go. sports radio 88.9 Brilla FM the name of the game Football. the name of the game Football. 
Then yes, we're sticking with what you know, and it's always advisable to stick to what you know, because if you don't stick to it, uh, you might end up not doing it too well, or even failing altogether, but then, if you never try, you don't know if you fail or succeed, like the elders who say, he who looks in the future with eyes of fear will see nothing but failure. Welcome back, uh, as we continue crisscrossing the globe, uh, giving it to you just the way you love, right here on Football 360 Degrees. Uh, now from Kenya, come. Let's go to Ghana, where the Congress uh, of the International Federation of Professional Footballers uh, comes off uh, in Accra, Ghana today. Yes, talking about Wednesday, July the 7th, uh, for the first time ever, the annual Congress, uh, which has been staged uh, in the West African country, will be held uh, in the Kempiski Hotel in Accra at exactly 9 a.m. this morning. The Congress is opened uh, to the press uh, and shall also provide the media the opportunity to interact with the players, uh, led by the General Secretary. Secretary of the Professional Footballers Association of Ghana, yes, Anthony Before. The Congress uh, shall be attended uh, by the Minister of Youth and Sports, uh, as well as other big international football stars. Uh, now we go straight to the world uh, of European football, where Pep Guardiola believes uh, the man called Ernesto Volvade will exactly, and of course, do all he can, exactly the type of coach uh, Barcelona needed uh, to restore the club uh, as the dominant force in the La Liga, who oh, I tell you, speaking uh, from a position of experience, uh, he's been there, he's done that, uh, won so many trophies right there with Barcelona, but well, right now, he's with Man City, talking about Pep Guardiola, but not taking his eyes uh, off his former club, yes, uh, Pep Guardiola says, uh, Valverde is the man, uh, Barca had to settle for runners of sport to Real Madrid last season, as Luis Enrique's tenure ended uh, in a campaign uh, that yielded a second consecutive Champions League for a final exit, uh, the Catlin Giants uh, had won six uh, of the previous eight league titles uh, up for grabs uh, with three of them coming uh, during Guardiola's reign uh, while also yes producing two European crowns I tell you and the man says uh, Valverde just a white man thumbs up uh, to the Barcelona border uh, for the man uh, called Valverde so says uh, Pep Guardiola even as we move on this wonderful morning now come uh, yes I tell you we're going straight to Tottenham they have announced that they will take on Juve at the Wembley Stadium next month uh, in their first match uh, there since leaving White Hart Lane, the Lily Whites uh, are due to play all uh, of their competitive home fixtures uh, at the National Stadium in the 2017-18 campaign while work continues uh, on their new ground uh, which will be complete in time for the following season. Last season's Champions League runners-up UV will visit the capital on the 5th uh, of next month uh, in a high-profile friendly less than 24 hours before Arsenal and Chelsea lock horns uh, at the same venue in the community ship. <laughs> Ready or not, uh, here I go. 10, 9, 8, 8, 9. Sports Radio, 88.9, Merla FM. All right, then, yes, indeed, it is still your frequency of champion sports radio double eight or nine. Umbrella FM football 360 degrees still waxing stronger. And I tell you, yes, away from the story, talking about Tottenham Hotspur holding uh, and hosting Juventus uh, come next month. Uh, let's go straight to one man. Uh, they call him Apuga Tomica. They call him the world's best player. But then uh, there's always going to be the debate uh, as to who is better, whether Lionel Messi or Cristiano Ronaldo. But then both of them. Uh, have one thing in common, they've both been faced with tax fraud issues. But let's go straight to Messi, not facing any tax fraud issues this morning, as he's set to commit his long-term future to the club by signing a new contract later this month. According to reports in Spain, the Argentine international is now into the final 12 months of his existing deal, leading to fears he could depart for the club of his choice as a free agent come next summer. Now talks with Messi over extending his terms have been ongoing since the turn of the year, but Technical Secretary Robert Fernandez recently insisted that the delay in reaching an agreement is nothing to fear. Elsewhere in Italy, AC Milan CEO Marco Fessoni has revealed teenage sensation Gianluigi Donnarumma is very close, I repeat, very close to signing a new contract, though there are complications with his agent Mino Riola. Donnarumma initially told Milan he will not be signing a renewal 
Ecuador with his contract due to expire in 2018. But the 18 year old goalkeeper is reportedly set to perform a U turn. However, the only thing standing in the way of Milan tying down their most prized asset, DS, to a new deal is Riola, according to Fasone. The man called, of course, yes, Riola is the hindrance, the stumbling block in Donnarumma. Yes, a green, a new deal. But then when you talk about Riola, a wonderful agent has the likes of Romelu Lukaku, Bolongoni, Paul Pogba, not forgetting the bad boy himself, Mario Balotelli. Yes, a long list of clients right there for Mino Riola. And he definitely is looking at making an impact. All right, let's go straight to Bayern Munich. Yes, they've won the Bundesliga record five times. But can they go for the fifth? Or is it the sixth time? Yes, come next season, will they be winning the German Bundesliga for the sixth time in a row? Let's tell you that former coach of the side, Otmar Hitzfeld, claims Bayern Munich should stay clear of signing Cristiano Ronaldo as his financial demands could create a whole host of problems at the Allens Arena. Ronaldo was loosely linked with the Bundesliga champions after reports emerged of his apparent unhappiness in Madrid due to Spanish tax authorities launching an investigation into claims of impropriety allegations the player has since denied but while conceding recruiting some of Ronaldo's ability will be a dream from a playing perspective Hitzfeld who guided Bayern to five Bundesliga titles across two spells in charge also outlined the problems it could cause to the team's unity and of course in the dressing room it is still football 360 degrees on a wonderful Wednesday right here on Brella FM Listen to what people say. That's one again. Oh, he dances with the defender. Oh, he takes the ball off. Stupendous from oh, Lionel Messi. Just when they needed him. He just. Oh, so. How about a brilliant goal? Barcelona and Suarez off the mark. It simply doesn't get any bigger than this as far as club football is concerned. Real Madrid versus Barcelona. Now in for Ronaldo. Squares. Rodriguez. Benzema. Brilliant. Oh, what a goal for Real. Magnificent from Los Blancos. Get the best of La Liga with Anthony Becker de Remo inside La Liga every weekday at 11 a.m. on Sports Radio 88.9 Belo FM. Want a party without gifts? Enjoy 30 to 50 percent discount only on Conga. Conga.com. The name of the game. The name of the game. The name of the game. Yes, it's always the name of the game right here, talking about football. Even as we welcome you back to football 360 degrees as we embark on our final set of stories this morning before I bring on the analysts in the house talking about Real Legate One, Esso Gennadafi, and of course, Anthony Beckett Terremo this morning. Yes, it's a language Wednesday, but let's go to Italy, the Serie A, fast approaching. I must tell you, yes, indeed. And of course, you do know that UV will be looking to once again Again, exert your authority. But what about Napoli? Well, let's go straight to one man. Former Napoli great, I tell you, Diego Armando Maradona. Well, he has thrown the gauntlet down to Lorenzo Isigne. Yes, talking about the man right there with Napoli. Yes, with the Argentine legend challenging the Napoli forward to be this club record goal tally in order to get his hands on the number 10 shirt. It is a jersey that Napoli retired in 2000 in honor of Maradona, who netted 100 and 15 goals for the Serie A side during a spell that encompassed his famous exploits in Argentina's 1986 World Cup triumph in Sydney. He's also a revered figure at the Stadio San Paolo and Maradona joked that the Italian will be allowed to wear the shirt number 10 once he donned of course and showed himself yes remember Maradona himself once donned the provided shirt I tell you yes indeed and he says once the 26 year old in Sydney meets the 
condition of beating his goal tally in the coming season, then he can have the number 10 shirt. Oh, what a challenge. I hope Lorenzo Insigne is listening as you all the fans are doing right now. Football 36 degrees. Now time for me to bring on board the man who will break it down. It's a bit to pieces. I'm talking about the elegate one, S.L. Gennadafi. And of course, Anthony Becker, Derimo, like the elders will always say, the hunter who carries the carcass of an elephant does not use his legs to search for cricket, I tell you. Yes, indeed. All right, let's go straight to the elegant one. Good morning to you. How are you doing this day? Yeah, good morning to you. This day? This day, this day. Yeah, to be sure. No, this yeah, day. Good morning to you once again, and good morning <laughs> to the listeners too. Let's go down. All right, let's go there. Yes, Anthony Begadermo in the building. But then I'll start with the Elegate one. And, of course, uh, it's all about Daniel Akberi. Of course, you do know there are reports indicating that he might have played his last game against South Africa. If anything coming uh, from, of course, uh, the NFF uh, is to be believed. Because, of course, uh, yes, uh, the one man uh, talking about Akberi, uh, according to Kenneth Raw, he says after the game against South Africa, he was not happy with Daniel Akpey and of course even if Kali Keme fails to be fit for the game against Cameroon he might just be falling back on a home base goalkeeper. Well uh, for me uh, let's go back. I've, I've tried to say that Super Eagles game over and over again yesterday I took time again. Uh, thank God I got it recorded. Mm. So I took time to watch that game again and I think that the 11 players that played that game I know apart from maybe Kilichi and Achor's attitude when they substitute them mm. I don't fit blame any of the players. You know why? Yeah. The problem already started with the wrong selection. So, you can't say Daniel Akberry is playing his last game. I mean, before this transfer window ends, what if Daniel Akberry finds his way to go play in Europe and it uh, becomes like he, he go on a, a clean a clean slate, keep a good run uh, a, a, in his club? Would you not invite him to the national team? You obviously mm -hmm. invite him. Yeah. Uh, I, I, I think uh, whoever they bring up messages or information from the FA should think before they they, they bring out some things. It's not necessary to tell us who is playing the last game. Mm. These are not necessary news or yeah. newsletters that should be coming out. You know why? Because what you're saying is you're putting a cap on the player's career based on one mistake. Mm. And if you think well, the mistake is uh, a catalytic mistake in the sense that somebody else has made a mistake that led to that mistake. So it's a shame or like dominoes. Mm. The coach made the wrong selection yeah. and then the players did not click and then, you know, it now exposed people who ordinarily are supposed to be doing well. And let's start with the strike force. If you want to blame Kelechi and Asher that he did not score a goal in that game, let's not forget that he did not get service. So, by the, by the time you're blaming him, you're blaming him just because you are angry as in Nigeria so we lose the game. You're not actually blaming him because you wear the glasses of a technical man and look at that game. How does a striker score when you don't get supply? That's one. Then, if you blame the midfield for not playing well on Nazi and uh, uh, Wilfred and the and Ogunne oh, yeah, table, I, I can also tell you that the position were not properly juggled. That's why. And then when, when you blame the back line from Edison Wachejile, Edison Wachejile never got one single protection from Moses Simon. Neither did he also get a shield from Wilfred in the day. Mm -hmm. So you also, almost all the selection exposed everybody. I was saying you throw him in the big game without giving him a chance to even play before now. So that's also another problem. And then the guy who played on the left also had his own problem of lack of protection. The goalkeeper coming to the team, there was no protection. The team was not balanced. So yeah. all of that is on general so instead of coming out to say single out uh daniel akwemi will not invite you again it's more like picking on the smallest fry in the circle and say okay uh, this is one because he plays in the african league we will deal with him so all of those things need to be fixed if you fix that daniel akwemi will still be go was it not a goal with one three goes to one against uh, algeria oh. so he should fix his selection problem and get the right kind of player convince the right kind of players to play for the national team and then we can talk even if you don't want to invite them don't tell me you don't want to invite me Invite your people who will win because if they will come when your keepers will injure, you will not call the player. The player tells you, and then they come. Mm. You can no one go come now. Tomorrow again, you call the list on that press release. So we should be careful what we say. The press can say, but not coming from the NFF. Coming from the NFF will be like really, really stabbing. All right, really, really stabbing. Zero seven triple zero triple zero eight eight nine. You can be a part of this one. But let's go straight to another uh, topic. As I welcome Anthony Beckerdemo to the program this morning. Anthony, good morning to you. Yeah, good morning to you. And a very good morning to the listener, Kingsley Idehe yeah. and uh, Esio Gene Idafe. Good morning, guys. Thanks okay, Barcelona, 
Definitely, Pep Guardiola is of the belief that they made the right choice in appointing Ernesto Valverde. He says, according to him, he's the type of coach exactly that Barcelona needed to reinstall the club as a dominant force in the La Liga. How well do you see Ernesto Valverde? I mean, before now, we knew him as one of the coaches right there. Tony is the best man for this question. Yes, inside, he's a La Liga man. That's uh, Les an, Les an boss. Exactly. Uh, well, well, in terms of choice, mm. in terms of history, yeah. He, of course, uh, is what Barcelona wanted. They, they, they like to have one of their own. Mm. Ernesto Valverde is one of their own. He's uh, played for the club side. He knows Spanish football. He knows uh, the bas- uh, He knows uh, the tiki taka mentality. And uh, from what he has done with uh, or what he did with Athletic Club, Athletic Bilbao, obviously uh, he can make things happen. All you simply need to do is just to uh, know the Barcelona philosophy. Uh, some people say, uh, Bas- what you, if you would be an average coach, if you go to Barcelona, you can make things happen. Coaches have come, coaches have gone. If not for cancer, obviously, Tito Villanova might have still been, you know, the Barcelona coach, coach because he yeah. started very, very well. But throat yeah. cancer, of course, uh, brought about, you know, brought, brought about, uh, you know, two coaches, I, I think, afterwards. And then uh, we had uh, uh, Luis Enrique Martinez, who, of course, a uh, 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 story now. Okay, for Ernesto Valverde. Uh, let's hope that uh, if he if he if he carries that kind of mentality with because Athletic Bilbao, they are a decent side, a decent side. There was a time they had all Spanish eleven. So I think he, he's the kind of player that can make it happen. You know, for 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 uh, kind of coach mm. that can make it happen for Barcelona. Let's just wish him well. Okay, let's wish him well. Even as I go straight to the phone lines uh, this morning. Hello, good morning to you. Hello, baby. Yeah, good morning. Good morning, look at uh, Anthony and Mr. Good morning, good morning. Alaniko, show of Lenin. All right, Alaniko, welcome. I'm going to talk for the uh, NFT and uh, the Anthony. Yeah. Uh, I like that I said it all. We need to, uh, the NFT or who is not supposed to come out and blame a player. You should also blame all of them because if you watch that match, you can see that all of them are not performing that very day. So we should not blame anybody. As I look at it, said, if other people are having an injury, and you, you didn't call this guy for a long, so long time, you know I need him. The guy can tell you that it's not coming away and, and he might be to us. So we do need to come out and say this. Let's, mm-hmm. let's put our head together and move, off, move forward. Let's make my video. Good morning, guys. All right. Good morning to you. Hello. Good morning. Good morning. Yeah, good morning. What's your name? Where are you calling from? My name is Peter. I'm calling from Mexico. All right, Peter. You're welcome. Hello, Peter. Peter. Yeah. Come, go down, on, from go the boat. come down from the boat and walk on the water, please. Hello? Yeah, go, go ahead. On, go on. You said? Come on, Peter. Sports Radio, Real FM, still football, 360 degrees. Hello, good morning to you. Good morning, over there, brother. Yeah, good morning. That is Ghana Chenny Molan, today's language play. Good yeah. morning, Lord Doctor. Good morning, Tony Doctor. Good morning. My name is Doctor Kenna from the Kingdom, Marcel Royal Park, Colonel. All right, Marcel. Yeah, I think the coach should take it with the goalkeeper and for the other because mm. what makes Nigeria match the bad selection because they didn't get that selection right. She cannot blame the goalkeeper, cannot blame anybody. According to what people are saying, you know, let him get the selection right and defend well, you know, that, uh, so he cannot bring Kapan from the five great things. Let's forget about the goalkeeper. All Thank right. you very much, the elders of Elder. God bless you guys. If, if, if I can okay. okay. say something about uh, the Nigeria South Africa game, yeah. let us not be very quick to forget that in that game, oh. for the whole of 90 minutes, Nigeria did not register one single shot on target. Oh. I don't know if it has happened to the Nigerian team before. Oh. That have been following the Super Eagles. I don't know if that has happened to the Super Eagles before. Oh. We're very, very poor. And to single out uh, Daniel Akperi as uh, uh, the scapegoat, well, because uh, somebody has to be the scapegoat, I don't think it is right. It reminds me of what happened to Ayenuba. When yeah, he played, when he failed, failed, to played, failed to qualify. He was a scapegoat, cup, and since yeah. then he has not been, you know, he has not right played said. for. Uh, mm. no, Nakuba no, Ebeni, how long will you continue all this ones? No, that, that's, not, that's, that's not the way to go. Mm. We're poor. But then, but then, guys, quickly, how important is an agent to a player making a decision? Mino Raula, of course, uh, um, uh, the AC Milan hierarchy believe he's the stumbling block to Donnarumma agreeing a new contract. No, but it is business. It is yeah. business. Me, uh, the, the people forget the part where the agent has invested something. You know, in this job, mm. one p- group of people that we don't really talk to are the agent. People don't ask me, what did you invest in this man? The first time where Donnarumma signed for AC Milan, what was the role 
Minerala play. Now, not because he wants his uh, uh, player to make more money, there's a problem. There's no mm. problem. If you don't have the money to play, to sell him. Let, let another person get him. The, the agent is very important. Mm. Very, very important. Uh, most, most, most decisions are made by most club will not even be able to meet some players to oh. sign those to do those personal deals oh. without the agent. So when it go wrong, you know you don't have to pitch the agent like they are devils. Okay then, Sports Radio Double Eight Nine Brella FM. Yes, indeed, we'll be back in a jiffy. Uh, but then, of course, uh, let's go straight to the sports pages. What are they saying? One man has the full details. Victor Ohani right here on the sports pages. 